Look at this control that Mitch is trying to dictate. Only 30 seconds left, and it's a really bizarre push out of Cloud9. C9, Vice can't do too much on the side of the A site. Cloud9 need to try and make something happen. Yeah, they didn't fully invest into this round, it seems, though. So even a spike plant is something extra. It's some finances, and Mitch has just come through with two kills off the back of the Classic. Trying to throw a weapon over to a teammate, but it hasn't quite been retrieved. However, Tens picks off two in a matter of seconds. This has gone from what should have been an easy round for the... ...kind of thing out of QR and Aaron certainly. But Xset giving all of the respect to Cloud9 could be a problem. Tripwire is going to be broken on B long and even used on the side of Exet just to get the information is one because the rest of the team is in hookah they're gonna start pushing through there's a lot of smokes though and this is a nice little crossfire that Exet have set up they've done damage now and even Aaron with the blast pack could do some damage it's just up to Shinobi and Vice to try and make stuff happen but the spike isn't gonna get planted in fact he's trying to get in and around but if this smoke dies behind him he's gonna get given up very difficult but interesting play from Cloud9 to make this a three versus two Bringing this head. back, this shouldn't have been possible. It's left all onto Vice though, and eventually Thwifo will be there to put him. And Cloud9 are waiting for them almost, and it's an important fight for Exit to win if they're going to dedicate to it. Oh, I like this though. They've split back through the teleporter and surrounded the players. That's in fact the spike down. So they've managed to turn this already into a 2v2 situation. However, it is Tens and Relics to try and turn the tide. Sure, it goes the way of Cloud9. We achieved too much. In fact, we did to kick things off a second cheeky headshot. We'll give him an oh. advantage. <laughs> and although he's eventually traded out, it becomes somewhat meaningless. Again, though, Relics is doing very well at making things costly. Problem being at this point, is he's all alone, low on HP. And you can see Aaron on the other side starting to get aggressive, starting to take map control away from him, control the spike itself, and realistically this round should be over. Trying to check some of these angles. If you can take one with him, it's worth. But you can just see, it's so left. crazy to me how passive Exit, they're declawed at this point. This was a ferocious lineup. Sometimes it means that their post plans aren't very good, their executes can be a little bit sloppy. Rifle oh. has the right idea, can't get any damage left. in. And that strategy might not find too much use, but he's still able to get relics at least, tens at least trades out onto Fura. And that's all he's able to do with that kind of gun as we go into a four versus three retake. Except want to be able to try and take back the site. No ultimates to do it in. And the positioning for Cloud9 is varied and going to be difficult to uproot. Yeah, they have the right idea of the positioning of Vice, but so many angles to clear. And they actually peek directly into tens. Not what you want to be doing. Leaving just two. Brando. One of them. Aaron does at least clear out tens, but the problem is there's still so many members of this C9 roster standing. And Brando with 60 HP. Might just have to look to try and escape this one. The spike ticking very fast indeed. And in fact, from Exit, they have a good read on the situation at least. Even starting to throw out the Hunter's Fury, which has caught one man. But in the meantime, Relix again left. on the entry has found another pick. Your R with his second kill of the round, looking to try and double up a little bit more. And in the meantime, the spike has gone doubling back an important kill from Shinobi. He picks off the one player who was defending the site. And in fact, the spam coming through would deny anybody coming further. Somehow Cloud9 again have put this in a good position. But as you mentioned, Relic, oh, maybe not, maybe not. He's whiffed a little bit here. Made things a bit awkward, but the problem is they have to kill him. They have to clear him, and unfortunately, Pure, this is where he finally falls after a couple of kills setting his team up. It now becomes problematic. Shinobi goes down in the meantime, and Relic still has the showstopper, putting him onto a third kill this round. Brando now has to get towards the spike. He's pincered between multiple players, and it's... Cloud9 just seemed to be so solid when it comes to the late round positions. Aaron in a good position, oh, smiling on. misses onto the Leer, and that's enough for him to go down. They have the lockdown, which will likely force the majority of players out of this site, or force them towards the lockdown itself. Either way, Cloud9 are more than happy with that, and this round is all too easy for the boys in blue. Two players it's surviving. At this point. Nothing we can do. 
nothing at all. Brando does get a little bit of information towards where Tens is at least, but Shock Darts do 15 damage at most. It's not ideal. The Recon Bolt is going to pulse to show at least one of these defenders. Waifo has the Neural Fest. Realistically not going to use it. It's a case of try and get a couple of frags, but even then, this is flawless from Cloud9 at this point. Really, at this point, are you going to be saving a Bucky? The Cypher, not likely. It's just try and catch somebody. And this could be easily a 9 3 half for Cloud9. Team Ace, you don't really see that. Awesome. Like, rounds that Cloud9 managed to bring back. Recently, it's been next to nothing. And again, it's not going to be the start they were looking for. Tense with the opener, but we did now bring in up an operator. Could be remaining. the difference maker. Brando as well on the oh. server has managed to find three kills and vice. But if he comes. 100 Thieves or Luminosity. Both of those teams are really scary on the best of days, so. It's gonna be tricky and relics just adds to that misery. This isn't even their this is sort of their bonus round. This is the spam weaponry they had over from the last that they're using to try and do some extra damage. Instead, it's looking like they might take the win, but Aaron has managed to find tens. He's been caught out a fair few times in this match so far. This man though has been almost flawless and he's gonna get a freebie. Relics with his third kill. I don't know how many times I've said that so far in this map and with Wifo left. 16 HP, Relics is going to get another 4k. The man is on a... ...by other teams. But this has just been a perfect performance for them. They are not giving Exit an opportunity, but Pura at okay. least is able to get two. It's an opening. The rest of his team are going to be pushing through Hooker at this point, at least. All of the rotating players from Cloud9 ready to hit them head on. It has become a possibility and well to try and clear both of these angles is not going to be easy however relics again he's there with one shinobi alongside him will already trade things back into a 2v2 situation the spike in the meantime has gone rotating back but the thing is for exit splitting up in this situation if anything has just allowed cloud nine to isolate jewels and get back into position before they get the spike down no time will be gone on the clock and in fact this is so risky. They might even end up just taking the straight fight versus tens, which, well, that's never something I'm going to ever recommend. The timing could have been better. The oh. first one is his, and he gets back around the corner. His teammate, in the meantime, still looking to try and wrap around, and tens knows it's worth just waiting here, wasting time, although he actually goes peeking in. He gives Pure an opportunity here, maybe just getting a little bit too cocky, as he could have waited for Shinobi to come back around, and actually now switching things up once again, Ryan. As this goes in towards the B site, it's a chase, it's a chance for Pure R to really bring around home for his team. Ten seconds left. Shinobi though is hot on his heels. I don't know if he'll expect him to be this far out, just around the corner watching for the peak and Pure R will take it. A big 4k that Satora is gonna find some information, but the smoke protects it. Tens though gets alerted to Rifo. He's not been able to get anything done. Relics is just styling on them at this point. Expected at this level. Aaron could at least get one, but it's just up to Aaron now. One versus four to try and take this first map. Their best opportunity, to be honest, for Exit to take a surprising map win against Cloud9. It's looking all up in smoke if Exit get anything done the map is pretty much full control for club nine tens has made a lot of space he's trying to get close into brando but the spray is pretty good but they just stopped checking he's looking to see if somebody's coming through the other entrance that would be relics but now it's a two versus three the site is looking to be open for business with the spike getting planted for cloud nine spike planted but they are not in good post plants positions exit have them cornered it is a case of whether they can win these battles against the really weak tens and a really strong relics. One enemy remaining. Somehow this has come back into a one v one tens. He just peeks back around the corner and rips. Starting to move their way towards this A side. Now this was one of the major weaknesses we saw from Exit. They could not hold A. Even if they put three, four players here versus both Immortals and Gen G, they struggled. But this time it's going very well indeed. A lovely shot off the back of the sheriff. And now Shinobi, 15 seconds. It might just be an idea to try and hold on to the gun. Can't even do that. Why when you put the blade storm into rounds like this is because you don't really have that much to lose. Ten has Tens has some extra cash available to him as well. So buying into the next round is going to be all too easy. But you never know. They might get a big bonus going into this one. 
Aaron already down. This leaves two players in the back of the boathouse and Tens is going hunting. However, things are becoming a little bit more problematic. He's been tacked down and Brando killing him off should make this very easy indeed. Mitch though has put a man into the back corner. Should know exactly where he is. That's another kill coming through. And in all honesty, even oh, throwing in the rolling thunder, it doesn't quite connect. But the fact is they managed to gain enough ground that Ten it doesn't even matter. Left. Tens trays out the kill. Plant goes down, and now they have to try and clear things out, but this has gone much better. This time, they've managed to get rid of Vice, who was a thorn in their side, so they can gain this overall control of the B site, or at least the areas around it. There is, however, a second lurk, but it seems like they know about it. They know exactly where Mitch is coming from, so in the meantime, they can start to push back through. But with enough damage being done, now Mitch can actually pounce, but he goes down instantly as well. Again, it's going to come down to just ends. The man with the operator, but he gains his third kill of the round and needs an ace if he's going to hold on here. Back in the round, the boxes, there's the fourth. No. One more man standing and only three HP. He has one bullet left in the chamber to win it, and he can't quite do it. But he bought enough time. Tens is going to win it with a 4K. We oh. did goes down. Oh, no, it doesn't get any better. This is a thing. There's been lots of people talking about. It's how quickly they can go for the retakes. This is going to be straightforward from Exit. They might even able to get the lockdown out unnecessarily at this point. But Cloud9, I think, have realized just how free and open this is. No ultimate teams gonna make their way through this spike is gonna get planted an important retake for except to, to fight for they have the ultimates they have these engagements but cloud nine also have quite a lot in their hands too lockdown's gonna be placed yeah wanting to keep the streak of rounds going and you can see the hunt it's the battle of the jets gonna continue and no. even just the time wasted tens is gonna win it with a classic Oh, if, if any ego was left for pure R, it's, it's hit rock bottom. It's hit rock bottom. He's like, oh dear. Lost that battle to a classic. Um, well, but it, it didn't work. And, and that's been the problem. Like, in the earlier rounds, their retakes were close. And there were a few, like, sort of clever plays that came out from C9. Like, leaving Vice behind in certain situations. Or having the lurker of even Mitch coming back around on the flank. Or... In some case, Ching from behind or something. They're completely in the heads of Exit. They're going to go back to the A site within the last 10 seconds. Shinobi catches up. Your It's absolutely nothing done. Cloud9 are playing an absolute masterclass of faking out their opponents and having the right mid round calls. I, I, I don't know how they're managing to do this so flawlessly, but Exit have got to feel like fools at this point. Tens can't at least add more doom and gloom to exit. This Quifro is going to survive to tell the tale, but who knows for how long. Even now, it's a free versus free. Aaron can get the frag onto relics. And most teams will be like, let's let's go for it. Let's try and do something. But at this point, Quifro hasn't moved since Tens almost got that kill onto him. It's crazy to sort of watch this come to be in the single time. Now, granted, this style only works when you have your players getting the entry frags, which they do. Ooh. <laughs> okay, that was pretty nice. I'll give I'll give we did that one, and it has at least started this round off a little bit differently because a lot of the openers, a lot of the initial kills, have been going the way of C9. Get out of my way! And they've got to go back and pick up the spike, and Shinobi's going to take a pretty nasty tags. Maybe, maybe that's it. Just shoot through dark covers. That's your way to. Sort of get opening kills in this round. But again, we're going to see a very, very heavy rotation coming out from both sides. So there were four players on A for exit. The rotation now coming back left. to B from C9. And these haven't been deep resets coming out of Cloud9 at all. They haven't pushed mid. They haven't even gone through areas like Trail that much. Tens is going to hop up and try and take a fight with a killjoy on the back of the site. We did there again, We've got Frag to start off with the first blood, wants to try and at least delay Cloud9, take them, Ten give them a bit left. of damage, but Vice gets a kill onto We did that's on the back of the east side. Everybody's still here trying to cause it. He stops the plant going in. A really good round from Exet. They started off on the right foot. But somebody might be about to get absolutely wrecked. However, Tens has just gone rushing in. He's gone all the way through to the spawn. The rest of his team is still trying to go for the push, and eventually, Pure R will pick off Tens. There comes the first node for Mitch, which will grant them the site. 
And this is the change of pace. I, I don't think the exit saw coming. It's been those late round rotations. Spike it's been planted. the switch ups. This time, just run and gun. Right Running back is going to be used on the defense as we did get an extra. It's now four versus three. The ultimate doesn't really find too much other than where Vice is placed. And even the Nana Swarm and shots can only do a little bit of damage to him. But Nana is still sitting pretty on this side. We did got the spray, got the right idea, but can't kill on device. Just a couple more shots would have done damage, but Mitch, <laughs> that's his second with the Odin at least. And in the spray, he gets Three. a third. Hey, Weeded goes remaining. down. He's what? getting a fourth. He can ace with this gun. It's just Brando left. This was a round that you would think the x could get. Oh! He's Everybody else. And um, that's it. That's why he's considered one of, if not the best player in the world. He's going to pull out an Ares. And see you later. Pure. It's always pure R as well. <laughs> I, I feel like that he actually embodies that sort of classic line of like, I'm going to kill off the imposter. <laughs> like, nah, nah, nah. There's only room for one jet in this server. And it's going to be me. It's like some alpha male kind of stuff going on. And Ten's just, he's not going to allow it. Relix has a nice little off angle that utility can easily clear him and he can be punished. But you still fancy these kind of engagements for him at least. And Xset pretty much putting all four of their eggs into the same basket, which is B. But look, Cloud9 have so much control over the map. They know it's coming. Or well, maybe not, because Tens is just going to have an updraft peak onto mid, an area that, to be honest, neither team has really touched when it comes to a play. Relix just gets ran over. Two players know he's there, and they burst on through. But look at this damage coming in from Cloud9. One versus three. Weeded's going to get the plant in. He only has a classic. Yeah, he wouldn't need to be a hell of a game, but it's still an opportunity for Exit, to be honest, because I think out of those two teams, tens, that's why he was expected to come out of uh, Pura before, and he just shows them how it's done. This is just an absolute masterclass in their roles. Awesome play from him. But Exit aren't out of this tournament if they lose. They would play up against Luminosity if things are going the way that they look to be, and that's a match that they I can win. I I think that's almost confirmed. Like they won the first map, the second map is eleven to two. If they bring that back, I'll I'll, I'll eat my words. But uh, yeah, I eat think that sock. might already be confirmed. If it happens, eat a sock is all I'm saying. Only if it's one of yours. Either way, it is going to be <laughs> ten to four. The opening pick has gone the way of Cloud9. Now, this is a, a situation where they're in a bit of a bonus. That's why we've seen the Blade Storm popped for 10s. And although he has his trusty Ares to boot, it's a round that realistically Exet should and have to win. And they're throwing out a lot of counter utility. This is making things very awkward with the Blade. Push up to the side. How many bullets is he going to spam? I don't even know, but it doesn't matter. He gets the kill with the blade storm, and they didn't spot Mitch. He's still in the sight. This man was there from the very beginning. He's actually looped back round behind them and got back through in towards their spawn. This round is nigh on over. Aaron needs a miracle burst. Second kill, but he can't quite get anything more. It is an 11th for Cloud9, and that was manic. I don't. I watch that back and look at the mini map because Mitch. Stages things definitely look a, a little bit more cagey for them than normal. She's still gonna try and get their push in towards this site. Aaron, he's gonna start things off with the opener. However, there's already been a trade back. Shinobi with one more, leaving things into a three v two situation. Still in favor of the attackers, and now it is left all on to Shinobi. He's gonna try and just this plant bait them in but the curve the paranoia comes through i think pure is expecting this kind of play <laughs> it may not matter too much but they do have a player in the back corner but it seems like they know and that's going to be another player killed off and not again this is something we saw so many times in the last map and i don't know how tens are still alive finally aaron is there to put him down the question is is the damage already done Vice has picked off another. This isn't even an investment round. And now Brando. I have the spike. 1v2. Potentially to even keep them in this map. Because I think if C9 hit 12, we can pretty much write this one off as a loss. A minute left on the clock. But only 45 HP. And I like this from C9. They're just going to group up together. The remaining two players. Going to try and hold this one down. Not give anything away. Well, they can push this one at the same time, and Vice gets the instant headshot. 12-5, 
I think we can touch it. Boils under the pressure a little bit. Left. Need to look for a play at least. And he oh, gets dear. caught out. That's actually kind of smart, but Shinobi's at least good for a couple before he's taken down with a Phantom. Do they know? Oh, they do. do. They this mic is going to get planted. Did... It's good, though. It's this good stuff. like it was set up. I can't really predict that play, though, from Relics using his ultimate and trying to force a play out of it. Lockdown is still available from Mitch. Could put it on this high ground. There's a lot of cheeky little spots that you can plant it where it can't really be wall banged. It's going to force these players off the site. Maybe Exet are just going to try and regroup, take some space in other places, but this has gone the way to Cloud9 want, even using some utility. Brando is going to be hit. He's going to actually be detained. That was needless on the side of Brando. The opening's going to come in now. Vice is going to use some utility. Knows that there's two players are there. The Paranoid's going to be good. Why not just dedicate to the DPs? They lined oh! up! And Cloud9 take this 2-0.